Hey guys, it's Anton. Today I'm going to go over the synopsis and explain the ending to Kingdom Ashen of the North. I'll also give my take of the drama and what I thought of it. The special premiered yesterday, July 23rd, 2021 on Netflix, and I watched the whole thing the moment I saw it show up on my watch list. I've been waiting for this one. There will obviously be spoilers in this video, but I wanted to share my thoughts on how this little mini movie ended because it did kind of end confusingly. So anyways, Ashen of the North is supposed to be a special introduction to the character of Ashen, played by the one and only my sassy girl Jun Ji Hyun. She was also in My Love from the Star and The Legend of the Blue Sea. Needs no introduction. I've been waiting so long to see her in a drama again. Kingdom Ashen of the North goes over the story of her character, the titular Ashen who is from the small border village of the Jurchen tribe. The events here happen before the events of Kingdom Season 1. The local magistrate slaughters some people from the nearby Pejoi tribe and blame it on her village. In response, the Pejoi tribe slaughter everyone in her tribe and take her father, the village leader, as a prisoner. She was unaware of this as she was out looking for the resurrection flower to cure her mother's illness. When she comes back, everyone is slain and she joins the Joseon settlement until adulthood. She then finds out the truth about who betrayed her tribe after finding her father during a spy mission for the Joseon and reading the official report about the incident from a scroll. She unleashes the zombies on the settlement using the resurrection flower and slaughters everyone only bringing one victim back to her village where she proceeds to feed him to her zombified family. The scene is juxtaposed with scenes of her living family, in a sort of metaphor to imply that this would be what she would be doing if they were still alive, helping to feed them after going on a hunt. Remember she was trying to catch a boar from earlier. The rest of the show sets up the first season of Kingdom by showing Ashen introducing the doctor to the resurrection plant, who ultimately uses it to revive the king in season 1. The very last scene is Ashin facing off with the Pajui tribe, the ones who were tricked but were the direct killers of her village. And then it ends. There you go. I don't think you can shrink down this story any shorter than that. So I wanted to talk about what I felt about this and maybe you felt the same way. I was waiting for adult Ashin for most of the movie. I don't know, I think many K-drama fans were. Reviews online currently are raving about the child actress for Ashin and yeah, she was good. But I came in waiting for Jun Ji Hyun and she doesn't show up until the last two thirds of the movie. Don't worry, I kept track so you guys don't have to. She shows up at exactly 50 minutes 0 seconds of the 1 hour and a half movie. 50 0, zero. Talk about cruel. I was waiting for her for so long that I kind of got distracted from the young version of Ashin. I just couldn't concentrate on feeling for the character yet. It also made the pacing of the first part of the story feel a lot slower. The only thing that was slower to appear than adult Ashin were the zombies themselves. The first two thirds of Ashin of the North could have just been a straight historical drama. The atmosphere for the special didn't really feel as ominous or foreboding as the first season of Kingdom. The forest and nighttime just wasn't as menacing or scary. The cinematography was great though, don't get me wrong, but I thought they were reusing some of the shock factor scenes from the first two seasons. Like when the Joseon officer gets piled up by zombies, I think it was sort of an iconic moment from season 1 in the original village that just got redone again. We've seen it already. Otherwise, I thought overall Kingdom Ashen of the North was okay. I think if you haven't seen the original Kingdom seasons, then I would go for those first because they set up the mood better, but if you have been waiting for more Kingdom content, then Ashen of the North can hold you over until the third season. I was sort of blown away by Kingdom Season 1 and had to binge it when it was first released, watch Season 2 and started feeling like the series was moving in an odd direction, and in Ashen of the North, I guess I just feel indifferent. I am interested in Ashen's character and think she makes a great antagonist. The backstory is sort of so-so for me, like her village of maybe a few dozen people and relatives get slaughtered, so now she's going to slaughter thousands of innocent people in ancient Korea. I don't know if that holds up too well. But we'll see, I definitely admit they made the character interesting, so it does have me hyped up a bit for season 3. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, welcome and remember to subscribe to get more content like this in the future. Sorry I didn't go into more detail about Ashen of the North and Kingdom in general, but I'm on vacation at the moment so I can't make the videos too long. Anyhow, my name is Anton, this is Asian Drama News, I'll catch you guys in the next video. 
Bye.